to get a mini map in Minecraft 1.19. That's why you're here and that's what we're going to show you how to do in this video. Specifically, we're going to show you how to get Xero's mini map. Which as you can see, it can be square, it can be circle, and it can be customized to do a ton of awesome things like show entities or not show entities. Kind of whatever you want, you can do it with Xero's mini map. And it's one of the reasons I like this mini map mod. Another reason is because it's for Forge and Fabric. Now in this video, we're going to show you the Forge version, how to get it with Forge. But if the Fabric mod loader is where all your other mods are, you can get a Fabric version of Xero's mini map as well, which is why I always feature it as like the main get a mini map mod video for Minecraft. So nevertheless, we're going to go through all that in this video. But first, we're going to keep these lights on here. So I'm going to miss some our awesome sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much. We also our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. And the best thing about Apex is they have amazing high-quality hardware, 24 hours, 7-day-a-week support, and one-click mod pack installation of over 200 mod packs. It really is amazing. So go check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Xero's minimap. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. Once we're here, we want to go ahead and scroll down. And this is actually an in-depth guide on how to get Xero's minimap if you want to go through it at your own pace. If you want to go through with the video, though, click on the Download Xero's minimap button. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the official Xero's minimap page. Come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down. Then you want to find the Minecraft 1.19 version. Now, as I said, you can get this for Forge or for Fabric, which is one of the reasons I absolutely love it. For this video specifically, though, we're going to be getting the Forge version. So click on the orange download button here, and it will take us off to basically download Xero's minimap for 1.19. As you can see in the bottom left, Xero's minimap has downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Save in the server screen on Firefox. Keep it in the bottom left of Chrome. Now, we're not done yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge, obviously, being the mod loader that links basically Xero's minimap to Minecraft. Forge kind of sits in the middle and allows it to work with Minecraft. So once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down and click on the green download Forge button. Now, the page you're on here is our in-depth Forge guide. So if you have any issues with Forge, come to this tutorial because it's probably got a solution. But nevertheless, go and click on the green download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. From there, you want to make sure 1.19 is selected. But by default, it's not. As you can see, MC 1.18 is selected. So we want to click on 1.19 here and click 1.19 on the left-hand side. That'll then make Minecraft 1.19 appear so we can go under download later and click on install. It'll take us up to add focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. The only thing you want to do on this page is wait about 10 seconds. And then after about 10 seconds, click on the red skip button in the top right. It's the only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. As you can see, Forge 1.19 on Chrome. On Mozilla Firefox, it'll probably download in the center of your screen. But you'll just need to save it. It's 100% safe to do so as long as Forge is in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to go ahead and drag these to our desktop. Do this by clicking the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen, or the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. So you have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here you'll find Forge and Xero's Minimap drag and drop these to your desktop right like so. Now if these icons are different than mine, don't worry. Let's try to open up Forge first. To do this, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. When you do that, the mod system installer for Forge will open, and if it doesn't open, or because you didn't have Forge, right, there was no Forge with right click open with, what do you do? Well, the same thing you do to fix your icons and make them look like mine, that's download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and Minecraft servers in 1.19, so come to this tutorial, linked in the description down below, and get Java 17 installed. We've got a video, we've got a text tutorial, your options are endless. After you've got Java, you still may need to run the jar fix, and what this is gonna do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java, and basically, make them work happily together. Finally though, you should be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK to open up the Forge Mod System Installer. From here, click on Install Client and click OK, and it's going to download, install, and basically set up everything it needs to work with Minecraft 1.19 and Forge, right, to allow Forge to work with 1.19. Once it's finished, it will come up and say successfully install Client Profile Forge for version 1.19. Click OK, and it will close out of that. You can now delete Forge from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. Let's install Xero's Minimap. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, once we're in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to make sure that our Forge installation is selected, specifically our Forge 1.19 installation. Now, for me, by default, in the bottom left here, it is. It says Forge, and it says 1.19-Forge under it. If it doesn't for you, click this little arrow, and you should be able to select it from this list. 
unless you can't. And there will be some of you that cannot. And for those of you, what you want to do is click installations at the top. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, uncheck modded and it's gone. Check on modded and there it is. But if you still don't have it, click new installation. Then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.19 grief protected survival server. You can play on it. It's pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And we want to select release 1.19 forge from this drop down box. Once you've got that, you can click create. However, I'm going to change the resolution just so we can see once we get in game. Finally, I'm going to click create in the bottom right. And we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that has 1.19 forge forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Forge. The hard part of installing your mini-map is over. That's the hard part. It's already done. Now we just got to click a few buttons, drag and drop, and restart Minecraft. So I'll meet you on the main menu to do exactly that. So here we are on the main menu. Click on Mods. Then click an Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that's from the Minecraft main menu. Click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Your mods folder will open and we can drag and drop Xero's minimap from our desktop into the mods folder right like so. Now if we come back into Minecraft, Xero's minimap's not here and it's not going to be here until we click done and quit game. Then we want to reopen Minecraft, paying attention to opening up Minecraft with Forge. Right? We want to make sure that 1.19-Forge is right here. If it is, click play and click play again. Now Minecraft will open, but this time Xero's minimap's installed. You have successfully gotten a minimap in Minecraft. Boom. There we go. That's a win, right? That is absolutely awesome. And there's two ways to check if the minimap is installed. One is clicking mods on the main menu, and there it is, Xero's minimap. Another is obviously just jumping in game. We can jump into a Minecraft 1.19 and see the minimap in game. Like when we first join here, boom, there it is in the top left. It is loading in. Now you can click, I believe it is you on your keyboard to open up waypoints. Waypoints are a great way to say this is spawn. I don't think this is the spawn, but we'll just make it the spawn. We can type in spawn here and we can change the color. Let's make this uh, dark green, confirm and click done. And boom, now we have a spawn waypoint and you can see it on the minimap. You can also see it in game. That's kind of an added benefit of a minimap mod. Additionally, you can click B to quickly add a new waypoint point as well. On top of that, if you click U, you can manage your waypoints. We can disable them, we can enable them, we can delete them, all of that stuff, even teleport to them, assuming cheats are enabled. Now, should you want to change your minimap settings, you can do so by clicking Y. That's going to open up this, where you can turn the minimap on and off. You can change the position of the minimap, put it exactly where you want it in game. I kind of like it in the top right, right? Bam. And then we can also do things like make the minimap bigger, right? Which I want to do. I want to make it a bit larger, right? Like so. You can change the zoom on it, how far zoomed in you want it or zoomed out you want it. You can do so much Stuff. I absolutely love how diverse you can make this mod and uh, basically what you can do to change it. There's so much stuff in here, miscellaneous settings, so much stuff, entities. You want to change how entities are laid out? It is all customizable. But you now know how to get a mini map in Minecraft 1.19. Should you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.